Hey everyone, welcome to my live video. My name is Annie Cooper and today we're going to be doing a full body, total body live workout with you guys right at home. So all you need for this workout is a pair of dumbbells. Go ahead and grab a light pair of dumbbells if that's what you have. I'm actually using five pounds today. Hi! I'm using five pounds. Go ahead and grab eight pounds, 10 pounds. You probably won't need much more than that. If you have a 12 or 15 and you want to really push yourself, go ahead and grab those right now. And then you'll also need a yoga mat, a towel, or you can use the ground if you want to, because we're going to do a little bit of abs towards the end. And I'm super excited to start this with you guys. We're going to push ourselves today. It's going to be about 30 minutes. We will have a couple breaks, but we're going to try to move pretty quick with this workout. So I'm going to go ahead and start my warm up with you guys. So what we're going to do first is I want you to grab each knee, Pull it high to your chest, warming up those legs a little bit. Pull each knee to your chest. Get ourselves warmed up just a little bit. Make sure you have some water with you because we're going to be sweating. Each knee to your chest. All right, now go ahead and kick your butt. Warm up those quads, get those legs moving. Kick your butt. Hey, guys. If you just joined, go ahead and grab a pair of dumbbells. If you don't have that, I do have some modifications for this workout that you can use just your body weight. All right, go ahead and reach side to side. Warm up that core. Warm up your back a little bit. So this is a full body workout. So we're gonna be doing shoulders, legs, back, abs, everything. So get ready. So what we're gonna do for this workout is we're gonna have a couple of sets that we're going to do with a couple of exercises in total and then we're going to do 30 seconds of each exercise two times so go ahead and lunge twist to the side warm up those hips a little bit so you're lunging forward twisting to the opposite side okay you should feel a nice stretch in the side of your glutes a couple more all right let's pick up the pace a little bit go into high knees high knees Get that heart rate up. A couple more seconds here, and then we're gonna get our watches started. Let's go five, four, three, two, one. All right, relax for a second. I'm gonna show you guys the first couple of moves. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my watch. I like to track my calories with the workout so that I can really push myself and I kind of have a goal to aim for. Although the calories don't matter too much, as far as pushing yourself in the workout, but it does give you a goal to aim for. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my watch. And what we're gonna do first is squat to press. So you're gonna go ahead and grab two dumbbells. I'm gonna show you the first set of three moves. So the first move is gonna be a squat to press, just like that, elbows forward. Okay, we're gonna do that for 30 seconds. The second move is gonna be a lunge, kick, lunge, kick. 15 seconds on each side. And the third move, you're gonna hold the dumbbells to your chest. We're gonna do three squat pulses, jump. If you wanna do this body weight, go ahead and do that body weight. That's okay too. All right guys, so we got 30 seconds of the first move. Elbows forward, toes slightly pointed out. A little bit wider than shoulder width on this one. Ready, let's do it. Squat, press. 30 seconds here. Breathe out as you come up. 30 seconds. Squat, press straight up. Come on, you got this. First move of the workout. Get ready to push yourself. Keep going, we got about 12 seconds. Perfect. Let's go six, five, four, three, Two, one, second move is a lunge to high knee. Ready, and go, 15 seconds each side. Lunge, kick that knee up, dumbbells by your side. Kick that leg up. Lunge, kick that leg up. Kick that leg up. So you're focusing on the front leg with this one. Okay, and switch, other side. Lunge, kick that leg up. Kick. Don't worry, these moves will get harder. Kick. Kick. And four, three, two, 
one, third move, squat pulse with a jump. So we're going three, two, so it's like a half squat, one, jump. And again, three, two, one, jump, 30 seconds. Two, one, jump. Keep going, you should feel, start feeling your legs at this point. One, jump, dumbbells around my chest. One, jump, again. Two, one, jump. Three seconds, two, one. That's it, shake them out. We're doing that again, give yourself a little bit of a rest. We're going in about 25 seconds. So we're gonna rest for 30 seconds in between each set, shake them out. Give yourself a couple more seconds. My heart rate is up there after this set. And we got another round to go. So if you wanna use just your body weight for these moves before we start, we have 12 seconds left. You can go ahead and squat and come up like this. For the lunge, just go ahead and lunge, kick. And then the squat to pull so you can do body weight. So if you do not have dumbbells, those are your modifications. All right, guys, we're going in three, two, one. Squat to press, 30 seconds. Let's do it. Use that squat to get that press going. So fast squat, powerful squat. It'll help you get those dumbbells up there. All right, guys, keep it going. Keep it going. We're getting close. Push yourself with these. Breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe out. Keep it going. We have six, five, three, two, one more. All right, facing the side again. Lunge to kick. We're going in three, two, one. Dumbbells by your side, 15 seconds each leg. These are quick. Focus on that front leg. Good. Keep it going. Lunge, kick that knee up. Kick that knee up. We have four, two. Switch sides, other leg. Lunge. Kick that knee up. That was 20 seconds, sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay to go a couple extra. Lunge and kick, come on. Focusing on that front leg. Four, three, two, one. Not done yet, we're gonna rest after this one. Hold those dumbbells tight to your chest. 30 seconds, three, two, one, jump, it's a little jump, three. Jump, so it's like a half squat, it's a little pulse. One, jump, should feel those quads burning, come on. Jump, two, one, jump, we have seven seconds. Jump, two, let's get the last jump. That's it, all right guys, put those dumbbells down. Shake those legs out, get some water if you need it. We are six minutes in at this point, guys, we're getting there. All right, so the next thing, don't worry, it's not gonna be legs. We're gonna be on our elbows for this one. So we're gonna work our abs, work our shoulders a little bit for this next one. So if you want time to grab a yoga mat or towel, go ahead and get that now. You will not need your dumbbells for this one. This is solely body weight. So the first thing, everyone loves these. We're gonna do planks, elbows up. Plank ups, elbows up. Okay, we have 30 seconds there. After the 30 seconds, you're gonna stay in that push-up position, and we're gonna go straight into shoulder taps. You can do these on your knees if you want to. The last thing in this circuit is a single leg bicycle crunch. So we're gonna go ahead and lay on our backs. Single legs, so we're going 15 seconds here. Same leg. So single leg bicycle crunch, then we'll switch. Same leg, okay? So go ahead and get on your elbows. We are going 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and start in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's do it. Elbows up to a plank, back down. Keep that core tight. Try not to rock your hips with this one. Stay nice and tight. Using shoulders, using abs. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. We got it. Keep it going, we have 13. 
keep it fast. Come on. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up. 30 second shoulder taps. Don't go down yet. If you want to go on your knees for this one, that's okay. Let's push ourselves here. Come on. 30 seconds. Tapping each shoulder. Hands under your shoulders. Come on. Keep going. Push yourself. Come on. You have six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, bring it down, guys. We're going to go ahead and lay on our backs now. Single leg bicycle crunches. You should feel your shoulders a lot in that one. You should feel them burning. That's what we want. All right, go ahead and lay flat on your backs. Single leg bicycle crunches. If you need a rest for a second, go ahead and do it. We're going to start in five. Four, three, two, one. 15 seconds each side, single leg. So you're lifting the other foot. Single leg bicycle crunch. Just 15 seconds each side, come on. Four, three, two, one. Switch, keep those legs up there. 15 seconds, come on. Twist. I know it's getting hard. Come on, we have four, three, two, and one. Roll those legs up. Go ahead and rest for a second. Chill out for a couple minutes if you need to, or a couple seconds, I mean, <laughs> I should say. Chill for a couple seconds, let yourself relax. Bring that heart rate down a little bit if you need to. And we're gonna start the next round. Same thing one more time, guys, and then we're moving on, I promise. So we have one more round. Elbows up, and then we're gonna get back on our feet. Let's give ourselves about 10, nine, guys, we're 10 minutes in already, it's pretty good, right? Seven, six, five, four, back on your elbows, come on guys, push yourself. Three, two, one, let's do it. Push a position, back down. Come on guys, push yourself, push yourself. If you're tired, hold a plank. Don't let yourself rest. Go ahead and hold a plank here if you're getting too tired. You guys got this, come on. We're almost done, we're almost done. We have eight, seven, three, two. This is the hard part, hold it here, hold it here. Shoulder taps, come on. Push yourself, come on, you guys should be sweating at this point. Really push yourself, tap each shoulder. Don't let yourself drop. You guys got this, keep it going. You're gonna be better after this. You'll never regret this workout. Keep pushing yourself. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. On your knees, flip it back over. We'll do it one more time, single leg bicycle crunches. Come on guys, you can do this. You should be I'm sweating. So much right now, but it's all worth it. Let's start in five, four, three, two, 15 seconds each side. Lift those legs, one leg at a time. Bring it in. Four, three, two, one. Keep it up there, switch. Come on. 15 seconds, that's all you got. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring those legs in and roll it up. All right, guys, give yourself another break. About 45 seconds rest here. And then we're gonna go ahead and get back on our feet. You guys are doing great. If you're still with me here, congratulations. I know it's not easy. Going for time on workouts, instead of reps, at least for the you know, high intensity or the full body moves, in my opinion, it's a lot harder. Going for that full time, even when you cannot <laughs> go any longer and you have to still push yourself. I know it's hard, but guys, it's only 30 seconds. You can do it, push yourself, you can do anything for 30 seconds, keep that in mind. All right, so hop up back on your feet. Okay, so the next move that we're gonna do, we're gonna add in some biceps here. So you're gonna do a reverse lunge to a curl. So as you step back in that lunge, we're gonna curl. Okay, 
bring them forward so you're starting this way right dumbbells thumbs facing forward you're stepping back and curling like this and then you're gonna bring them back down and then we're gonna switch legs okay so we're alternating okay 30 seconds there the next thing is gonna be a bent over row so knees bent back bent over make sure your back is completely flat you don't want to do this and you don't want to do this flat back bent over rows okay all for your back then you're gonna stand straight up hammer curls okay so again hammer curls thumbs forward 30 seconds of each okay if you want to get some heavier dumbbells for the back movement that's great your back is able to lift up a lot your back is a big muscle you should be able to go fairly heavy on those so let's go ahead and start with reverse lunge to a curl 30 seconds let's do it step back curl and switch legs step back curl alternating legs come on guys push yourself on these 30 seconds that's it step back curl bring it down by your side alternate Keep it going. Almost done. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We have four, three, two, one. All right, guys, get in that bent over position. Knees bent, back bent over. Make sure your back is flat. My dumbbells are slightly angled in the front, and I'm pulling back towards my hips. 30 seconds. Let's do this. Now go a little bit slower with these. Really focus on the muscle that you're working. You wanna make sure you're feeling this mid to lower back. Try not to rock your body too much. Stay tight. Focus on breathing. Breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe out. Breathe out. Keep going. We have four, three, two, and one, good. Stand straight up, hammer curls in three, two, one. Keep those elbows tucked in, hammer curls. Elbows forward, all the way straight. Make sure you extend those elbows at the bottom. Extend those elbows at the bottom. Stand up nice and tall. Extend, extend. Breathe out, extend. Good. Extend, I find hammer curls to be a little bit easier. If you want to switch to a regular grip curl, you can go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and choose which form of curl you would like to do. Either one is fine for now. All right, guys, keep it going. We have five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, relax for a second. You shouldn't need too much rest with these. We're gonna go ahead and start again. Reverse lunge to the curl. Face the sides, you guys got this, come on. Working some upper body now. Give your legs, give your abs a little rest. All right guys, let's go ahead in 10, nine, eight, we're halfway there. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. By your side, let's do a reverse lunge into a curl. Come on. Stay upright, nice and tall. Just 30 seconds, come on. Step it back, breathe, breathe, breathe. Come on. Keep pushing it, keep pushing it, keep pushing it. Don't stop, don't stop. We have four, three, two, and one. That's it, guys. All right, bent over rows. Go ahead and get knees bent, back bent over. Right position, back flat. Dumbbells slightly angled. Let's pull towards our hips and back down again. Keep your body tight. 30 seconds. Let's go a little slower with these, remember. A little bit slower. Focus on breathing. Focus on bringing your shoulders back as you pull. Keep it going. You should be feeling this in your back. I am dripping sweat at this point. I hope you guys are too. All right, we have three, two, 
and one. Go ahead and straight into hammer curls. Last time of these, three, two, one. Hammer curls, let's do it. And again, if you wanna do regular dumbbell bicep curls, that is okay too. Either one is fine with me. Keep it going. Make sure you're extending that elbow at the bottom. Get the full range of motion. You guys got this. Keep it going. Come on. Really push yourself in this full body workout. Almost done here. Two. And one. Put those dumbbells down for a second. We're going to go into the next thing. All right, guys. So we're going to work our legs a little bit, but we're also going to work our shoulders with this one. Okay, so the next move that we're gonna do, if you have a heavier dumbbell, such as a 10 or 15 pound, I recommend for this one, because we are going for time, go ahead and hold it this way on the sides. We're gonna do front raises, okay? So you're gonna come up to about mouth height and come back down. Elbows are slightly bent, but they are going to be straight for this one, okay? So you don't wanna extend them like this, you almost want to relax your elbows, okay? And you're bringing it up. Relax your neck on this one, you don't wanna tense up here. Make sure you're staying nice and relaxed. Pull those shoulders back, coming straight up and down. All for the front delt on this one. If you have two dumbbells, they're a little bit lighter, we're gonna hold them towards the front, and you're gonna come straight up just how you would with the last variation of the front raise. Okay, so that's our first move. Our second move, we're gonna do pop squats. So you're gonna jump out top, jump together, other arm, all right? 30 seconds of each. The last move for this circuit is gonna be a jumping lunge but you're gonna punch to each side. So here, jumping lunge, here, okay? Just like that. Three moves, 30 seconds each. Let's do this. I hope you guys are sticking with me here. Let's start with the front raises. Core nice and tight with this one. We got 10 minutes to go, guys. Let's do it. Hold those dumbbells in front. Coming straight up nice and slow. Keep those abs tight. Do not arch your back with this. 30 seconds. Keep it going, come on. 20 seconds left. Just feel it's all in the front of your shoulders. Nothing in your neck. Keep going. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. Put those dumbbells down. We're going into pop squats. Tap the ground, jump together. It's almost like a jumping jack. You're adding the squat and you're tapping the ground, alternating hands. 30 seconds, come on. You wanna speed it up, speed it up. There you go. Drop it down. We have 15. Keep going, keep going. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's get one more. That's it, all right, rest for a second, shake them out. We're going into jumping lunges. We're going side to side with our hands, alternating if your right foot is forward, you're gonna go to the left, okay? Once you jump, you're gonna jump and switch, go to the right. If this is too challenging for you, then what I want you to do is do a forward lunge here, okay? Forward lunge here, okay? That's what I want you to do instead. All right, guys, so if you wanna use dumbbells for this one, you can go ahead. If you have a five pound or 10 pound, you can do it like this. You wanna make it harder. I'll go ahead and do this variation so you can see. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start in three, two, one. Jumping lunges with a twist, 30 seconds. Keep it going, guys. Push yourself on these. Come on, you're jumping straight up. Switching feet. Switching feet, come on. Really push, I know these are tough. Really push it, really push it, come on. You got this. You're gonna feel so much better once this is done, I promise you. Here we have 10, nine, eight, seven, my legs are feeling it, two, and one, that's it. Put those down, shake them out, we have one more round of those. And then we basically have one more set to go. We're at 22 minutes so far. How are you guys feeling? I hope good. It's a good way to start the day off. I know it's the middle of the day for a lot of you guys, but if it is 9 a.m. for you, I guess 9.30 at this point, you're starting the day off strong. And that's always a good sign. Shake those legs out, we're going again. Let's go in 15 seconds. All right, so 
forgot my dumbbells for a second. All right, so we're doing front raises first. Let's go in five, four, three. I know your heart rate is probably up at this point. You got it. And one. Front raises, 30 seconds. Nice and slow with these. Don't worry about going too fast with these. Control the dumbbells on the way down. Don't let them pull you down. Control, control. Keep going. If you don't want to go too high with these, keep your neck relaxed. Pull those shoulders back. We have 12 seconds. Nice and slow. Work those shoulders. Work every part of the body. We have five, four, three, two, one. Put those doubles down. Back into the pop squats. Come on, let's fast, fasten the pace, I was going to say. Let's pick up the pace a little bit on this one. Come on. I'm getting out of breath with these. You got it, guys. Keep it going. Squat top. Top. Come on, almost done. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, switch so arms, two, and one. All right, guys, shake them out. The next one's a killer. You know that by now. Go ahead and grab your dumbbell or use body weight if you would like to do that. Jumping lunges with the twist. Last time of these, guys. I know you're feeling at this point because I am. I'm really trying to push myself with these. Let's go in five, four. Come on, you can rest after this one. Three, two, one. Start in that lunge position. Lunge, jump and twist. Let's do it. Come on. Get that form balance. Focus on balance. I'm trying to stare at one spot right now. <laughs> it helps, I promise. So if you're struggling to balance, find a spot to focus on and keep your eyes there. We have 12, yeah. Seven, five, three, two. That's it, good. Put those dumbbells down. All right guys, shake them out. Get some water if you need to. Like a whole gallon here. You guys, make sure on days especially that you work out that you're drinking a ton of water. Your body needs it. You absolutely need high water intake, especially every day, but especially on the days that you're working out and sweating a lot. So make sure you get that water in. All right. I'm waiting for my heart rate to come down a little bit. And we're going to go into the next set. We have about five to six minutes left. We're getting close. It's going by fast. So we're going to do a little bit of abs for the next thing. We're going to go ahead and start with legs. So the next thing that we're going to do, this one's a little bit tricky for some people. It's a deadlift into a squat. So I want you guys to really focus on your deadlift with this one. So your feet are going to be about shoulder width apart here. Dumbbells are going to be in front of you. If you don't have dumbbells, you're going to use just your hands. So dumbbells are in front of you. Throw your hips back. Let your hips do the work. You don't want to drop down like this, okay? Let your hips do the work. Sit back into it, back flat. Go as low as your flexibility allows. You want to feel a nice stretch in the back of your legs. We're going to come up, bring the dumbbells here, squat. Okay, so let me face the front and show you. So it's a deadlift, squat, and we're going to alternate. So deadlift, squat, okay? Dumbbells here. If you don't have dumbbells, that is okay. The next thing is going to be on our backs. We're going to do a sit up to press. So on your feet, dumbbell is going to be at your chest. You're going to do a sit up, press, okay? Sit up, press, and the last thing is going to be reverse crunches. Lay flat on your back here, head down, lift those hips, tap your toes on the ground, lift those hips, tap, okay? 30 seconds of everything, you guys ready? All right, guys, deadlifts into a squat, 30 seconds, let's do it. Let your hips do the work, deadlift, yeah, squat. Do a squat. So get that stretch in your hamstrings and the deadlift, and then you're squatting straight down. Come on. It's a deadlift, straight into that squat. Keep going. Head and neck should be straight. Come on. Deadlift, squat. Keep going. 
We have three, two, and one. That's it. Put one dumbbell down. Go ahead and grab the other one. We're doing a sit up into a press. Lay down on your mat. Let's go straight into this one. Dumbbell at your chest. Full sit up, pressing straight up. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Sit up, press. 30 seconds here. Come on. If you can't get all the way up, that's okay. Get as high as you're able to. Press. Press. Come on. You got this. Keep going, keep going. We're almost there. We have eight. Four. Two. One. Put that dumbbell down. Lay flat on your back. Reverse crunches for your abs. Lift those knees. Tap your toes straight into it. Lift those hips. Tap. Focus on the lower abs for this one. Lower abs. Roll those hips up. Tap. Tap. Hips up. Tap. We have 12. Six. Three. Two. Last one. That's it. Roll those knees up. Just how we never did a lot of abs today, aren't we? All right, guys, stand back up. We have one more round of that, and then we're going to be done. We're almost there. Not too challenging. Well, somewhat. It's not terrible. Not terrible, but not beginner either. All right, guys. We're going to go back into those deadlifts, into a squat. Catch your breath if you need to. We have one more round of each of the three moves, 30 seconds, and then we're going to stretch. Keep those dumbbells in front. Let's do it. Throw those hips back. Two, one. Deadlift, squat straight down. Squat straight down, come on. Focus on that form, knees in line with your toes. Here we go. Head straight. Keep going. A little bit extra. Three seconds. Two. One. I need you to do a little bit extra that time. Come on, let's push it on the last one. All right, guys, put that one dumbbell down. Lay flat on our backs again. Sit up into a press. Let's do it. On your chest, full sit up. Press straight up. 30 seconds. Put those feet on the ground. If you can only get to here, that's okay. Sit up, reach. That's all I want from you. Come on. And if you just have your body weight, go ahead and reach straight up with your hands so you're mimicking the same motion of the dumbbell. Keep going, come on. Let's push ourselves, come on. Let's go for another five, four, three, two. I know I'm counting slow, one more. <laughs> That's it, guys. Lay flat on our backs, we're not done yet. We have one more thing left. Reverse crunches, lay flat on the back, roll those hips up, down. This one's the easiest one in my opinion. Come on. Push yourself for these last couple seconds, guys. We have 15, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. That's it, guys. Roll those legs back up just how you did before. And go ahead and flip over. We're going to stretch our legs out a little bit. Put one knee up in a lunge position. And you're going to push that knee forward, stretching the back of your leg here, stretching out your hips. Push that leg forward. You can get lower and really extend. You're going to feel that stretch in your hip here. Hold it for a couple seconds, and we're going to switch. All right, now you guys can go eat breakfast or lunch, whatever time it is for you where you are. Breathe, focus on slow breaths. Nice little circuit. All right, guys, so I burned 300 calories with that workout. Well, 297. That's pretty good for that. So just keep that holding that stretch. All right, now we're going to go ahead and straighten the leg. Here, we'll do the other side, too. Straighten the leg, lean down as far as you can. Stretch out that hamstring. 
I hope these moves were challenging enough for you. I know some of them might have been a little bit easier or a little bit harder depending on the dumbbell weight that you have, but I'm drenched, I'm sweating. It was challenging for me and I hope it was for you too. Switch legs, stretch down. Stretch that leg down, focus on the hamstring here. I'm kind of rocking my ankle back and forth and getting a stretch on the top. All right guys, on your knees, let's stretch that arm out. Just go ahead and pull it across. Pull it across. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them below. Or comments. Other side. All right, and let's stretch it over our heads. All right, guys, so we did hit most muscle groups today. We did back, biceps, we did legs, we did shoulders, abs. All right, other side. I just flung forward and all my sweat went flying. <laughs> guys, I am sweating so much right now. It's awesome. I love it. I love including this in my day. It makes me feel so much better for the rest of the day. All right, stretch it out. All right, guys, and go ahead and stand up. You're done. This should make you feel happy. If your hair is messed up. If you're sweating, that means you did a good job. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining my live workout. I had the best time. I got in such a good workout. Got my sweat going. I hope you guys did too. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave some comments below also because I want to see what you guys want to do next for the next workout. If you want to make it harder, if you want to focus on more legs, more shoulders, whatever you want, leave it below. I will definitely read it. And I want to see what you guys want next. So leave some comments below. Make sure you check out everything that's going on in Oxygen Magazine's page. They're doing so much cool stuff. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Tune Into Fitness. I post workouts, what well, I try to, every other day or every day. And it's a lot of full body stuff. So whatever you guys want to see, I'm all for it. I love sharing my workouts with you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. So I will see you next time. Bye.